Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back here with another video and today I decided to bring a video which I'll, it will basically be uh, an overview on routes using Express.js framework and in this video I'm going to be explaining to you guys how to use it, how to organize your project and why they are important. So like why do we actually need to divide our application, our API endpoints into different routes. So before we get into the video, if you guys could subscribe, leave a like and comment down below, I would really appreciate it because it would really help the channel grow and I'm posting every single day, so I would really, really appreciate it. So yeah, let's get into the video. You can see right here, I have a very, very simple API created with Express. You can see on my application, the only thing I have is my index.js file, which is where my application starts. And inside of it, I create my Express server, I define my port, I'm telling my app to listen, and it says, a server running when I run my server and I created four routes very simply right here you can see like everyone does uh, it's a CRUD application meaning that I'm showing you guys uh, the app has a get request a post request a put request and a delete request you can see if the if we make a get request it's trying to reach a route called users so imagine that in this application we want to have an API endpoint with the route slash users so we can even imagine like, what does it do? Well, maybe it is everything related to the users. So when we say app.getUsers, it's supposed to make a request to the database, which I'm not doing here because this isn't the point of the video, but imagine that we're making a request to the database inside of this brackets over here, and we're just sending the data back, all like the data about the users. Then we have a post request to create the user. You can see I'm not doing anything with any database. However, I'm just saying user created. Same for the put request, which says user updated, and the delete request, which says user deleted. However, this, this looks fine, right? It looks fine, it works. If I come here to my browser, you can see that if I try to reach the uh, local host uh, slash users, um, it will say data, here user data, because we're making a get request to the slash users. Obviously, I'm not gonna test, I'm not gonna test any post requests, put requests and delete requests, because that would involve like uh, using either Postman or Insomnia, which are external applications. I don't wanna do deal with that, but you just, j just get it that like, um, we made four different endpoints with the route slash users. But imagine that in our application, we want to make a, a route for comments, right? So imagine this is YouTube, right? And you want to have a, a table just for comments. And you want to organize your application so that the endpoint now is slash comments. So normally we would come over here and say app.get. And I'll just actually copy all of this. Just so you guys can see, I'll copy all of this and I'll put them over here, right? And then I just change, oh, this gets confusing, but I would just, I'll just put a, a comment over here so so you guys can just like, uh, kind of like realize that this is the division, right? So this is comments, right? Slash comments. This is everything related to comments, then slash comments here as well. And then I can make a per request of comments and a delete request of comments. This looks fine, right? Actually, it doesn't because it looks horrible in my opinion. I'll even zoom out as you can see, like it's just a bunch of routes with no, like not non-organized at all. And I'll tell you something, my first application using Express and Node, I did exactly th this. I didn't use routes, I made the whole app in a single file, the file was like 500 to 600 f uh, lines of code and it was horrible. I, I cringe every time I look at that application again. And don't do that because it's super unorganized. I, I spent hours de trying to debug the application while I could have just resolved it in minutes if I had divided my application properly. Not to mention that this is horrible practice and it is extremely important that you organize your, your application toward like uh, according to the standards of the industry, right? So what would we do in this situation? Well, we could create a separate file, one for comments and one for users. And we can also separate for different routes, one for comments and one for users. And I'll show you guys exactly how to do that. In order to actually divide our application into routes, let's come over here and create a folder called routes. You can call it pages, you can call it whatever you want. I usually call it routes. Um, I'll just make it lowercase, but it's this folder right here. And inside of it, I will store all the different routes that we have in our application, for example, the user route and I'll call it user.js because it is going to be a JavaScript file and I want one for comments as well. So I'll create a comments.js and I will have two separate files inside of my routes folder. Now, what do I do? Well, 
I want to copy all the logic related to users into the users file and the logic related to comments into the comments file, right? So let's copy this over here and delete it from here, paste it into the users. And let's do the same thing for the the comments. And you see that like immediately, it's a lot better because now our our initial file index.js literally just has less than 10 lines of code. And let's paste it on our comments. However, this isn't done. The reason why it isn't done is because we, we still have to do a lot of stuff to, to fix it and make it work. The main thing we have to do is on both user user.js and comments.js, we need to import express, which is going to be const express equals to require express. So we got to import the express library here. And the express library has a, a variable, which we, which we can create an instance of called router. And this is what usually we do, we come over here and say, router equals to express dot router. And basically, what it does is it, this variable right here just defines that this is a router. Uh, uh, this is a router object, and it's going to serve for everything we need. And let's just instead of using app, let's just use router. And let's do the same thing for the other one for the comments, and let's paste it over here. And just again, uh, switch this to router instead of app. And let's just save this. And let's come over here to index.js. We aren't done yet, because we're not like telling our application that both of them are routes, we're not doing anything. So what we can do is we can actually first of all, require those pages, those files. So if you want to import a file from your application, you can easily create a variable, for example, let's call it user route equals to um, require. So we're just importing the file um, user.js. And we can say dot slash user. Oh, actually, we need to dot slash routes. Um, is it this? Yeah, dot slash routes slash user. And this is the path from index.js to the user file over here. And we can do the same thing for the for the comments route. However, there's something important. What we're doing over here is we're trying to have access to the router variable that we created over here. But we are currently not having access. Why? Because we're not exporting from this file anywhere in the application, we need to export it so that we can have access over here. So to export it very simply, and always do this at the bottom of the application, like right at the bottom, you say module dot exports, and whatever you set this equal to, will be a variable that you can send, right? So if I send, for example, router, and I try to import the user.js file over here, this variable user route, which is we're setting it equal to the import will basically be replaced by the value of router because we set it to be exported. As you can see, I'm trying to explain it very simply, but this is the best that I can do. Um, we're just exporting the router from each of the routes so that we have access in the index.js. And now that we have access to this, what we can do and also I forgot to change this to comments, um, comments. And I think yeah, that's it. So now that we have those two routes, what we can do is we can apply those routes. And to do this very simply, grab your app variable that you set it equal to express here when you created your express server, and just say app dot use. And over here, you pass two arguments. The first one is the route that you want like the, the actual route that you want this to be, for example, users, I want it to be slash user. And I want to pass the user route. And for the comments, I want to be comments um, route. So as you can see right here, so what does that this mean exactly? So wh why are we passing this over here? Well, this means that we don't actually need to pass users inside of here, we just pass a slash and it knows automatically that it is the user. If we put user over here, like we had before users, it would <laughs> we would have to reach for user slash users, if you get what I mean, like this already done does the deal for every one of this route. So we don't actually need to put users anywhere here. Same thing with um, comments or else it would be comments slash comments in the route. So we just have to delete all of this. And now what we can do is this is probably done we, let's refresh the server. Let me come over here and say node index.js to run the server. Um, oh, I need to close my old server. 
So node index.js, it says server running, which means it's running. Let's open up your application. And you can see that despite not having app.get, we can say slash user, and it will say here is your data. If I go to slash comments, it will say here is your data as well. So both routes work and you can see that they are different, like they're different because if I change this to comments um, and I come over here and I go to comments, I refresh. Oh, I need to restart my server again. Just for example, like I'll just explain to you guys. If you come over here to my comments, it will say comments, meaning we have both routes perfectly separated and it means it's working. You can see it's different, right? So this is the basic idea of using routes in Express you would like you would you would actually have a, I, what I do is I usually have a, a separate file where I define all the different routes like this. And I just create a different file for each of the routes. So if I have a user, if I have a comment, if I have a, like like a table for for likes, um, I, I want logic for f like adding friends to each other, all that kind of stuff that you have in your application, like adding a profile picture, all that kind of stuff. Well, you got to understand how to divide your application. So users and comments go in separate files. But for example, um, if we want to have a profile picture it usually goes with the user as well. But if we want to make in our application a part where um, we want to basically sell stuff or buy stuff or add products to an e commerce website, we might want to create a different file. This is the basic idea, right? And yeah, that's basically it. If you want to check out, I have a tutorial on the MVC pattern, which is a, a really common pattern to be designing your backend express application, you can check that out. Um, it's a little bit more intermediate. However, I believe it is also really, really valuable to learn how to de design your backend. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and comment down below what you want to see next. Um, this video was suggested by a subscriber. So uh, I read every single comment, I respond to every single comment. And by the way, I don't know if I'm going to be posting in the next few days. I really hope so, because I'm in the midst of final seasons and it's really rough. I have a, I have a multivariable calculus exam tomorrow and I just took like 10 minutes off to, to record this video. But yeah, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe to them because I'm posting every single day and I see you guys next time.